All right, here we go, unscripted, off the cuff. It is September 20th of 2022. It is the Olight O-Fan Day sale, which runs to midnight on September 23rd. Now, I have a few things here to show you that are brand new, but if you go to the olightstore.com website, if you're a new customer, just to share this with you, you can get a, uh, what is it, the i3e EOS in antique bronze for free for signing up and if you're a regular customer you're going to get one of these which is the i morse in gunmetal gray and if you're wondering about the i morse yes it's the same as the i1r2 pro or ixv but olight has launched a new website called obuy.com where they sell a lot of cool outdoor gear related things. So I definitely recommend you checking that out as well. These things are great, super small. I've said it a hundred times. I keep one in my backpack as an emergency backup flashlight. It'll do 180 lumens max output. It's enough to light up my driveway. Although I use it on the lower setting when I do need it. So sparingly save the battery it is bright enough if you need it and super light USB-C rechargeable worth owning one at the least if not several to have around so if you're a customer already get one for free if not buy one worth it so also so you guys know everything on the website store-wide is 15% off some things, if you include it with bundles, check out the bundles, always worth up to 45%. So now's the time to get things that you may have wanted. I'm going to do the same. Or new things like the, uh, the Gober. This is pretty cool. It's a outdoor type safety light. And it's actually really light. And the thing that is very cool about it is its versatility. So it comes with a carabiner. So you can attach it to, you know, yourself, pet, bicycle, whatever. And like I said, it is light. So if you have a, you know, good sized dog, it ain't no big deal. But the thing that is really cool about it is, okay, so you turn it on and you have lights on both sides. So you see how they're doing two different things? Well, that's because you can, oh, I pressed the wrong thing here. You can change it out. So you can have solid colors, you can have blinking, and my favorite part about this whole thing, you ready? It separates into two different lights. And this center part, the way they have it marketed, is for an AirTag, an Apple AirTag, so you can put that in there, so if you were to clip this to your dog or your backpack, you could have one of those in there. These things weigh absolutely nothing. And I believe the max runtime is like up to 28 hours. And they both independently recharge USB-C. So it's only about an hour and a half to charge them, you know, individually. And uh, I think they're four lumens max output. But, you know, I put this off at a distance and was able to see it, no problem, walking away in my driveway. This to me is a keeper and it's coming in, the black one I have here, but then it also has a orange body one and a green one. I haven't decided if I want the orange or the green, but I'm definitely getting another one. This is the best part about it. This is what I really am gonna use it for. It comes with this clip that you clip on the light and now this fits in the Molly on my backpack, which a lot of backpacks nowadays have. Or you can put it on a strap, whatever. That to me is awesome. So the thought, anytime at night, put that on, leave it on. It's kind of a beacon. So if I'm out doing things and, you know, you put the pack down, 
Now you can see where it is. So the Gober is definitely a must have for a new item. There you go. Easy take apart, easy put together, and extremely light. That's a, that's a big thing about it. It doesn't weigh much, never mind when you, you know, take half off. And now what I am most excited about this sale is the brand spanking new Baton 3 Pro. This is essentially the upgrade and follow-up to the, well, probably one of the most popular Olights ever, the S2R Baton 2. And this has been an amazing seller. Everybody in the Olight world has to own at least one of these. Well, you're going to love the Baton 3 Pro. I got this green one a couple months back and it has become one of my favorite lights. It always wasn't for certain reasons, but the fact was it came in neutral white this time around. Well, they're doing it with the Baton 3 Pro. You can now get these in neutral white and cool white in the three colors it's launching, which is black, OD green, and this one, the desert tan. So I am thrilled about that because I'm a fan of neutral white for indoor use, nighttime use when I don't need to see too far away. But we'll go over some of the quick upgrades. I have a full review on this light, which should be up shortly after this one. The standout points are the main button, is recessed and much larger, which keeps it from activating in your pocket, but also keeps it from wearing away, which I've seen that many a times with this button. The other thing is the pocket clip is much larger. It's thicker, it's robust, and this thing is solid on there. This is one of the things about the S2R that, you see this, watch, ready, clip one finger, you can pop that off without any <laughs> hesitation. This, it's not going anywhere. I'm glad to see Olight jump on that and just improve it. So that is a big upgrade. And then the other one is, it's now, instead of 1,050 lumens, it's 1,500 lumens. So your turbo is extremely bright. And there is a proximity sensor built into this like a lot of the newer lights i'm a fan of it it works but you can't see it inside the lens on like say the warrior mini 2. if you don't want to use the proximity sensor because you need to you know put some heat on something you can temporarily disable it so that's good for fans of that and as usual it is a magnetic charging base. This is still light enough that it will support itself horizontally. That's another reason why it is a fan favorite and I like it because it will actually hold itself horizontally as to where the Warrior Mini 2 or other ones. You gotta just find the right spot. Not with this. So I think it's great. I think this is going to be a super popular model and would not be surprised to see it sell out in uh, its initial launch. I think people are going to be really pumped up on this and I hope to, I know we will see more colors in the future, which is great. I'm definitely, definitely keeping that. Probably going to get an OD green one as well. So there you go. Baton 3 Pro to accompany the Baton 3. Such a nice couple. Okay, and the last thing I have to show you, but remember, there are more items new available this month, but this is what I have to show you. And I have never shown you this. This is the O-Knife Freeze 2 with copper scales. Now I've had this about a week and you can see the patina already showing up, which is nice. I showed you guys the splint last month, which is a front flipper knife. Same with this, but the action on it, oh, it's solid. And this has a, it's a 
liner lock knife. But there's magnets in there, so when you get to that sweet spot, it locks right in. And it is not coming out. The action on their knives, I have to say, is really good. So I use this around here to open mail. You know, if I have to open the packages and don't want to cut the box, but I have to get the plastic off. This, to me, is a more EDC-friendly, outdoor carry type of knife. I like drop point blades. That's just my favorite style. And this thing feels good. What is it? It's uh, five ounces, maybe a hair over five ounces. It feels really good in the hand. It's got nice jimping on the back of the blade. The clip is decent. It's, it's tight. And also, the clip can be flipped to the other side. So, depending upon which pocket you want to run your knife in, you can do that. Yeah, it's a good looking knife. The action is sick. And it just feels good in the hand. It actually feels much better. You know, the splint is not a full on grip type of knife. Again, that's why I like it for the finer work. But the Freeze 2, yeah, it feels good. It actually feels really good and that copper you know just makes it feel solid in hand and one thing I haven't shown you guys I don't know I just didn't in the past but all the O knives come with these nice little pouches you know so if you're going somewhere and you need to put your knife in there to pack it away or you're carrying several knives or you just like to carry a knife in a pouch you can or put something else in it, that's decent. And they all come with these coins, these copper rounds, O-knife, specific to the knife that you get. So, freeze two. Just a nice little touch. And speaking of nice touch, I forgot to mention, traditionally with the Baton series, you always get these pouches. I love these things. I never ever use them for my flashlights. But I use them for everything else. So in my backpack, I have one that I put charging cables in. Another one that I put uh, the batteries for certain things that I need in. I either have two or three of these in use in my pack from, you know, lights that I have bought. And also, the Baton 3 comes with this cool little metal L bracket. Which I think this is a nice touch. So... Depending upon where you decide to stick it, you can store, have your flashlight ready for you. And obviously you can put it in whatever position that, you know, you want to go that way. Or if you want to hang it up above your desk like I do. That's what's lighting us. An O-bulb. I keep the metal things above us, so O-lights are definitely useful. Without question. So there we go. There are the new offerings. And there is more to check out on the website for this month. So I advise go to olightstore.com. As always, thank you. My promo code SDNT10. 10% off when things are not on sale. That's it. Go buy something. Make yourself happy. And thanks for joining me.